Although Europeans knew about the existence of Madagascar from the Arabs, who arrived on the island beginning with the 7th century, the first European who confirmed the existence of the island was Marco Polo around 1300. The Arab cartographers had long known the island as Jezirat al Komor, meaning Island of the Moon, a name later transferred to the Comoros, while Marco Polo reported the existence of a great red island which he named Madagascar after possibly having confused it with Mogadishu in Somalia. After the publication of Marco Polo's writings, another 200 years will pass until the Europeans managed to set foot on the island. In February 1488, the Portuguese explorer Bartolomeu Dias, who was looking for a trade route to India, discovered the southernmost tip of Africa and reached the Indian Ocean. The discovery of the passage around southern Africa was significant because for the first time Europeans could trade directly with India and the Far East and on the 28th of May 1498 another Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama arrived in the Indian city of Calicut becoming the first European to reach India by sea. In 1500 Portugal sent another fleet to India under the command of Pedro Álvarez Cabral with the mission to sign a treaty with Calicut and to establish a factory there. In this expedition also took part Bartolomeo Gias and his brother Diogo Gias. Their mission was to search out the East African port of Sofala near the mouth of the Zambezi River, considered to be the endpoint of the Monomatapa gold trade. The fleet of 13 ships departed from Lisbon on the 9th of March 1500. After crossing the equator, they sailed westward as far as possible from the African continent, trying to catch a favorable wind to send them right to the Cape of Good Hope. But instead, by mistake, they discovered the coast of Brazil on the 22nd of April 1500. They turned east back to Africa, but on the 23rd or 24th of May, they encountered a storm near the Cape of Good Hope, resulting in the loss of four ships. Among the 380 men who died was Bartolomeu Gias, who discovered the Cape of Good Hope 12 years earlier. The remaining vessels were separated by the rough weather. One ship that had been separated, commanded by Diogo Gias, remained alone, but the other six ships were able to regroup and continue their voyage to India. Diogo Gias, without knowing where he was going, on the 10th of August 1500, arrived by chance on the eastern shore of Madagascar. First, he believed he had reached the East African coast, but then he finally understood that he was walking along an island and then set sail for the African coast, hoping to reconnect with the rest of Cabral's fleet there or to make it to Sofala, his official destination. He named the island Sol Lorenzo, Saint Lawrence, because it was the saint of the day when it was discovered. Diogo Gias sighted the African coast only around Mogadishu and the change in the monsoon winds forced him to continue the journey north into the Gulf of Aden, waters previously unexplored by Portuguese ships. He spent the next few months in the area, trapped by contrary winds and attacked by Arab pirates, unable to find food and water. However, he managed to get out of the Gulf and with only six remaining crewmen set sail back to Portugal where they arrived on the 27th of July, 1501. In the Cantino planisphere of 1502, a Portuguese cartographer represented the island of Madagascar for the first time very close to reality. In this world map, Madagascar does not appear under the name of Ila de São Lorenzo because it is called Comor Bimam, a name derived from the Arab name of the island. This can be the result of information gathered by the cartographer from Arab sources. In 1504, the fleet of Afonso de Albuquerque, on their way back from India, probably reached the coast of Madagascar. The Portuguese embarked a Moorish pilot to help them cross the Indian Ocean back to Africa. After sailing for 30 days, they expected to reach the coast of Mozambique, but instead they found a coast that nobody recognized. They continued to sail along it for 15 days and after a few more days they reached the coast of Mozambique. In February 1506, Fernão Soares sailed along the east shore of Madagascar while returning from India. His ships were attacked by natives 
and the Portuguese managed to make 21 prisoners who were taken to Portugal. In the same year, Afonso de Albuquerque and Tristão da Cunha explored the coast between Cape St. Andrew and Amber. One of their ships was able to explore the east coast up to Matatana, where it was well received, a fact that gave the Portuguese the idea of using it as a port of call. The news that reached the Portuguese court exaggerated the riches of the island and accredited the belief that the source of cloves and nutmeg lay nearby. This led King Manuel I of Portugal to report the good news to the Pope. In 1508, he sent an expedition led by Diogo Lopez de Sequeira to explore Madagascar. He did not find the spices that those who had visited the island before spoke of, which caused the myth of the new India to collapse in the following years. In February 1521, King Manuel I sent two ships to Madagascar with a mission to build a fort at a place known as La Machitana on the southeastern shore of the island. They wanted to build a fort there because of the information he was given about the wealth of the island in silver and ginger and also so that ships coming from Lisbon could stop there before crossing the Indian Ocean to India by sailing next to the eastern shore of the island a route considered more safe than that through the Mozambique Channel. However, a storm separated the two ships and they ended up in India without having built the fort. For the following decades, the Portuguese contacts with the island continued and the knowledge of Madagascar progressed thanks to occasional stops by ships and the trade between its western coast and Mozambique where the Portuguese had gained a foothold and built a fortress. In 1613, the Portuguese explorers discovered on the southern shore of Madagascar, near the present city of Tolonaro, an abandoned Portuguese fort considered today the first European settlement in Madagascar. It was built in 1504 by 10 survivors of a shipwreck. The settlement resisted until around 1535 when the Europeans died fighting against the natives. Near the former Portuguese settlement, the French established the colony of Fort Dauphin in 1643. It was settled by around a hundred colonists who found themselves involved in the local politics. On the Christmas night of 1672, local Antanosi tribesmen attacked the colony, which remained besieged for the next 18 months until a ship of the French East India Company rescued the survivors, 30 men and one woman, in 1674. The English also tried to establish their own colonies in Madagascar. Fever, dysentery, hostile Malagasy and the arid climate of southern Madagascar soon terminated the English settlement near Toliara in 1646. Another English settlement in the north in Ile Saint-Marie came to an end in 1649. From the second half of the 17th century, the European presence affected decisively the fate of the island by the massive introduction of firearms and development of trafficking in slaves. Madagascar became a pirate stronghold. Many unfortunate sailors became shipwrecked and stranded on the island. Those who survived settled down with the natives or more often founded colonies on the island or became pirates themselves. <laughs>